Hey everyone, Kano here, and if you saw our last video, we had a little bit of an issue with some bouncing, so we're trying something new. Hopefully this works out. This is another test. Uh, we're going to have to keep doing some testing until we finally get it right. Uh, so hopefully this one works a little bit better. We're a little bit farther away, but hopefully you can still see and hear me. But um, I'm going to do a quick video on the Star Trek Beyond Funko Pop collection. Uh, I finally finished it off. Uh, if you've been following us on Instagram or whatever, I've been slowly getting these. I wasn't sure if I wanted to get them or not, but um, a lot of them started to go on really cheap um, at like GameStops and Barnes and Nobles and stuff. So I was able to get them, every single one of these for below regular price. Um, so I had to had to do it. Um, uh, a little while ago, uh, Kano Jr. and I rewatched Star Trek Beyond for the first time in a while, and it's a really good movie, and um, I really like a lot of the characters. Um, I know it's blasphemous because I'm a huge Star Wars fan, but I never got the Star Wars versus Star Trek thing. I've always liked both. I'm way more of a Star Wars fan than I am a Star Trek fan, but I, I can see... The appeal of Star Trek. I liked watching the original movies with William Shatner and Leonard Nimoy. Um, well, anything after starting at number two, number one there is not very good. But um, I never really got into the original shows. I didn't really watch Next Generation. Um, I did watch Deep Space Nine for the most part, and I haven't really got into the, any of the newer shows. But um, when the Star Trek movie came out a few years ago with the new cast, sort of like a reboot. Um, it was one of my most anticipated. Uh, this was before Star Wars came back, so this was my my thing to see because there was no Star Trek, Star Wars. This was Star Trek, and this was the new Star Trek. J.J. Abrams brought it back, and it wasn't just the the scientific stuff from the first movies. This was action-packed. It had the space battles. It had the stuff from Star Wars, plus all the extra dialogue and uh, character development that Star Trek always had. So it was kind of a mix of both, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, the first one was amazing. Um, and this last one, Star Trek Beyond, um, it because it's kind of got mixed in now with the Star Wars and all these Marvel movies, it didn't get the fair shake that it deserved. I think it coming out in summer really, really messed it up. Um, and I hope it didn't for the... So I still hope that they or still make some more of these because there's a lot more stories to tell. I think the cast is brilliant. Unfortunately, we lost uh, Anton Yelkin, um, Chekhov. Um, I'm not sure how they would deal with that going forward. Um, if they would recast the part or have Chekhov go off somewhere. But... Um, he did excellent in all three movies that he was in, and it's sad that he's gone. Um, but either way, um, the, the releasing it in the summer months kind of made it as a big blockbuster, which it technically really, I mean, it is a blockbuster, but it's not like the tent poles that Marvel and Star Wars and DC um, have come, and Transformers, obviously, some of these movies. But if it was it would have been released in like say February or March or maybe October or something like that, I think a lot of people more people would have seen it because it is a good movie. It's I mean it's not uh, amazing, but it's a, it was a really good watch and some of the things in it are really fun. Um, and I'll show you in a second who my favorite character in the movie was. But uh, let's start off with showing you off these. Um, when they first came out, I only picked up two and I did get them on sale. So this still counts. Um, we got the FYE exclusive Captain Kirk survival suit and the Chekhov survival suit from GameStop. Now, I had these. I got these almost pretty much right away. Um, so I've had these for quite a while. Um, and these were the only ones I was really going to do. I had finished the Star Trek, uh, the television series pops. I have all of those. And... I wasn't really gonna go and get the entire set of these. The only, I only wanted one other one, and I'll show you that in a second. But then I got to thinking, that first television series only gave us Scotty, Spock, and Kirk, none of the other characters. So 
when I rewatched it, I was like, I think I'd like to get those. And luckily for me at that point, most things were already on sale. So we started hitting up some GameStops and some Barnes and Nobles, and we were able to find a ton for $5 or less. Um, this is the one, I think this might have been the next one I got. I'm not 100% sure, but this is the one, this character, Jayla, I thought she was awesome in the film, and this is the one I wanted to get outside of these two. Um, I never picked her up, and for a while I never saw her again. Some of these actually were hard to find, considering that, you know, I'm sure there was a bunch made, but then they were all on sale. I mean, it's kind of weird that you couldn't find them anywhere, but I was able to find Jayla. I think I got her at GameStop. She's around the $5 mark. And uh, and then I went from there. Um, I ended up picking up Captain Kirk. Found him at GameStop for three bucks. I mean, you can't, I can't, for any pop, $3 is amazing, especially one that you're trying to get um, the, the complete the set for. So we got Captain Kirk. Um, the next one I found was Scotty, I believe. Um, I found one of them, the box was destroyed. Um, I think he was also $5, um, but I ended up finding another one at another GameStop for five bucks, and the box is way better, so I got picked up Scotty. Um, I had been bouncing around trying to find Spock. He was also in the cheaper pops, but his, for some reason, was around eight or nine dollars, but finally, I went to actually on our my trip down here um, to our new location. Um, I stopped off at a, um, a place to get lunch, and there was a GameStop nearby. And I walked in, and there was a box sitting there. So I had, a, I had him check, and it was five bucks. So I said, "All right, I want it." So I picked up Spock at another GameStop. Actually, I think I got most of these at GameStop. Um, no, I'm, I'm wrong. I got the rest mostly from Barnes and Noble, but. Um, then my mom actually picked up checkout for me. Um, an FYE down near her was going out of business and all the pops they had were marked down extreme, like 90%. I think she got this for like two or three bucks. Um, they didn't have any other ones. They just had, had a few checkoffs. So she picked this up for me. So got checkoff. Oh, uh, the next one I got, I got this one at Barnes and Noble. This one was on sale and it marked, and with our discount marked down even more. So I picked up Bones. At that point, they did have, I think, Ch Chekhov and Sulu as well there. Um, but I ended up picking up Bones instead, so I got him. And then these next two I found at Barnes & Noble. Um, Ahura was one of the ones that was very difficult to find. I hadn't seen her in a long time. Any of the stars I've been around, I mean, I'm sure other locations might have had her, but um, I hadn't seen her in a while, so it was good to find her in the clearance section, as well as Sulu. I had seen a couple of him, but I hadn't picked him up yet. So, but that left me one short. I had not seen Crawl since the, uh, since it originally, the movie originally came out and these were released. I saw him at a GameStop. I didn't pick him up, um, because at that point I wasn't going to collect these and I changed my mind and I had not seen one at all. But just recently, this came up on Walmart's website for wicked cheap so I did the website to the store picked him up and here he is I got the villain crawl so that completed my collection and every single one of these pops was under price all on clearance and some I even got extra discounts for because we have memberships at GameStop and Barnes & Noble so but this is a pretty big collection um, most of it just being the Enterprise crew, and then two exclusives for GameStop and uh, Fye, I believe. Yeah. But I thought this was—I thought the set was really cool when it first came out. But I told myself I'm gonna try to stay away from some of these things. I like too many things, and it's starting to, see, as you can see, the it's getting extremely difficult to put everything out. I have boxes over here of Marvel and Star Wars, my two biggest collections. I can't get them up yet because we don't have the room we managed to fit everything else on here so but until we can get those up where it's, it's that's why we've kind of limited our collections to a few things but this was way too much to pass up I 
I really wanted to pick these up and with every single one of them being under five bucks and I didn't buy them all at once I got them here and there so five bucks here and there is not that big of a deal and um, so like I said the main reason is I wanted to get Jayla I got her right away she was the first one I got after the uh, exclusive and then I wrapped up the set and finished it just this week so but I just wanted to show it off I'm doing a I don't know what we're gonna be doing now with all these videos but this is our new spot and hopefully this works out and you can see us and hear us better and the wiggling is gone like I said we're still trying to get a few more bookcases hopefully we can get the rest of the pops up but this is our new location and hopefully it works out uh, gives us a little bit of a spot to put stuff away and hide things off and still sit down and show off what we got. Um, we're still in the process of showing off our New York Comic Con pops. Um, it's been a while. We haven't had the chance to sit down. My wife wanted to get this room finished before we did it. And now we just need to find the time to be together and do it. Um, that should be our next video once this... Uh, so stay tuned. I don't know if we don't get a chance and I get another chance to do a quick video. I might. But... Um, Hopefully, uh, we'll have some more content for you coming forward, and uh, all right, I guess that's it. Um, if you haven't seen Star Trek Beyond, I suggest go seeing it, um, picking it up. It's probably um, cheap. I know it's on Amazon Prime. You can watch it there. Um, it's, a, it's a good movie. It's not amazing, but I think going forward, it, it, I mean, it's not a movie where they should just end the franchise with. It's, it's a... It's still a good a point in the in the run of the of the new Star Trek with the new characters. Um, so I hope that continues. There's been rumors that they have scripts and thoughts about the the fourth film. I just hope it does happen. I haven't heard anything since, so hopefully that happens. And hopefully this isn't the last film because that would be a tragic tragedy. But um, all right, I guess that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll be back shortly. Thanks. See ya.